This is Keith at Half Tracks and Honeybees. Hope y'all are doing well today. Uh, this is just going to be a quick little video to kind of go over how I set my bees up for winter uh, with the insulated tops and uh, how I set them up for feeding and, uh, and how I make the, uh, the equipment that, uh, that I use. So first off, I use 3 8 inch plywood and cut out these little squares uh, or rectangles. To, uh, that fit the, uh, they're the same size as the boxes of course. Then they've got the, uh, the hole in the center. And then I use the double bubble, this insulated bubble wrap that works really great on beehives. Um, cut it out the same size as the tops. To make the hole in the center you need to think back to your uh, elementary school days when you were cutting out stuff with scissors in the first grade. You remember if you fold everything just right and then you cut out a little triangle at the corner, you end up with a hole in the middle. So see, school does do some good. So anyway, so now you've got the, uh, the hole in the middle, the hole in the wood. I take and uh, staple this on there. Now you need to make sure and pull the staples back from the side far enough that they don't end up under the, uh, the sides of the box or the uh, feeder shim that you use because it'll leave a little dip uh, where the staple is and then the air can get through there. So pull your staples back a little bit. I use four around the edges, a couple on each side. Then I like to put four around the center hole. Uh, that way it keeps the girls from trying to crawl up under the, uh, under the bubble wrap. So uh, then, so you've got your uh, insulated board, which is going to take the place of your inner cover. You could either use it with something like a rapid round feeder that will set right in the middle of it. Or what I normally do, you know, you can use this, leave the cover off, you can fill it full of sugar in the winter time. Or you use your uh, high velocity fondant patties. You can just uh, cut a small hole in the plastic and lay it right there on top of it, and you're good to go. Now I use uh, these feeder shims that I made the same size as the boxes using a one by fours. That sets on there nicely. And then of course you've got your uh, your top cover. Now I use a uh, telescoping tops. And I also insulate those with that same uh, double bubble material. So then you've got this that goes on top. Then I always put some kind of weight. So that's pretty much the setup that I use for, uh, for overwintering my bees. You end up with this dead air space on top. You don't have to worry about the inner cover getting cold and that warm air from your uh, cluster coming up and uh, meeting that cold inner cover and then, then it raining uh, condensation on your bees. You know, the cold don't kill bees, the, uh, the wet and the cold kill bees. So uh, you want to keep that from happening. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope that did you some good. Uh, if you like that, please, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe if you like my channel. Please make sure to always take time to enjoy the buzz, and we'll catch you all later.